Whoa. I mean, who is that machine? This girl is pretty. Do you know her? You mean you don't know her? No, and if I know her, I won't be asking you now. That girl is named only send jitters down the spine of every young man in this town. <laughs> she is Victoria, the Metro Bank hottest chick. Me Metro Bank? Yeah. She's a banker? Not only is she a banker, she is one snob that I've ever met in my whole wide world. And you, Collins, will not be an exception. <laughs> no, 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 no. For your information, she dates only rich and eligible young men. And she makes that obvious. Yes. Pump your brakes, okay? Banker or no banker, snob or no snob, that Picasso is mine. No, yes. That girl is my child, I'm telling you. Call it. Without missing weight, or perhaps if you can hit to my advice, your brother sends cars to you from Europe to sell. That is quite lucrative and more flourishing. If you can concentrate on the business, it is better. And forget about this girl. Except you want to spend. Why are you talking? Man, Charles, I love girls above all things. I don't hide it. And spending on them is my favorite thing. Man, realize you know her place. No, come on, man. Do you know her place? Not only do I know her place, I also know where she works. Uh huh. And how come you know the, uh, where she works and uh, places and all that? Why you don't play balls and see this guy? Collins, see, you've got all the teas. You have Tina Tamara, Tracy Tepsi, mm. To Chupu Tolu, mm. and even Tebita. Why the V? Maybe I have all the things in the whole world that have no fee in my purse. And Victoria is gonna be the number one fee on board now. I bet you. Man, how much is this? Oh, on his bill. No, I'll, I'll soon leave. I just wanted to make breakfast for my husband first. Breakfast? You mean you have to wake up in the morning, stress yourself with breakfast, reserve lunch, come back in the evening and stress yourself again for dinner just to satisfy your husband? Yes, Mama. Why you say that you're doing what? Sleeping and waking up and waiting for your monthly salary? Ah, uh -uh, Mama. Hey, don't Mama me. Oh, well, just hold on here. Why don't you go to work since you are late while I finish up from where you stop? Are you sure? Is it not only breakfast? It's not difficult to prepare now. All right, thank just you, Mama. Um, go. I'll, okay, I'll see you in the evening. Yes, ma Thank you. Take good care of yourself. Eh? Yes, Have a nice day at work. Bye-bye. Lizzie, -bye. ma'am. Let's go my eats. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, Mama. Good morning, Ma. You awake? Yes. I actually thought you had gone out for the day. Uh, no, Ma. I don't have anywhere to go to for now. Hmm. It's better for you to go instead of staying at home idle. I'm sure if you go out, you meet some of your friends. They will have one or two just for you to do. Don't worry, Mama. I know what to do concerning my situation. Things will improve. Yeah, I know that things will improve. It's just that Clara, my daughter, is only a woman. And leaving the problem of this entire family in her hands is too much for her. I know, Mama. It's not my intention to leave everything entirely to her. I'll, I'll find something to do. Mm, it's okay. I'm sorry to bother you. I don't mean to intrude. I went to the kitchen and discovered that there's no food stuff in the house. I would like to go to the market. Oh. Uh, yes. Um, Clara didn't mention it. Well, I have actually calculated how much it's going to cost me to prepare a pot of soup. It will take only 2,400 naira. Uh, I would like you to give it to me now so that I can go to the market before the sun becomes very hot. Um, Mama, Mama say, um, Clara normally buys things for the kitchen on her way back from work. She is with some money. Okay. Hmm. Sorry to have even bothered you. I nearly forgot that it's my daughter that has been taking care of all the problems in this house. I had, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll have to wait for her. I'll wait. Mama, how did you find your way here? I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I didn't find it difficult to look in this place. Oh, please have a seat. What do I offer you? Nothing. I'll take something later. I came so we can talk. I hope there's no problem. Clara, you are a fool. Yes, that's what I came to tell you. You are a fool. How can you allow your husband to be using your head? How can you? I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How will you understand? You wake up in the morning, work all day, and all month, and at the end of it, your entire money will enter your husband's pocket while he sits at home, sleeping. But, Mama, you know his business has problems. Since when has the downfall of a man become the end of his life? Since when? Is he the only one that has suffered setback? Eh? You feed him. You clothe him. You shelter him. You even give him pocket money. Why don't you help him and help yourself? I can't leave him like that, Mama. I cannot leave him like that. How much do you have in your account now? How much? Your husband will connive with his friends and dupe you. And you allow that. Eh? You allow it. Mama, what are you talking about? Your father did the same thing to me. It's an old trick that men play. 
they will go and organize with their friends who will pretend as if he's owing them. After some harassment, you, the working wife, will end up parting with your money. They play the trick always. Mama, that can't be true. It can't be true. Which other truth do you want? When it's already happening to you? Eh? Withdraw your hand a little bit. Stop pampering him. Then he will go out and look for work. Mama, it's not fair. It's not fair. Uh, then go ahead. Go ahead and spoil him. Ring your marriage and ring your family. He's now in the house. Do you what? Nothing. Believe me. We draw your hand now. He will buckle up. And things will change. You'll be helping yourself and helping him. But what will I tell him? That there's no money when he knows the time of the month my salary comes. Divert all your money into your brother's account. If he asks you for money, give him a check. If the check bounces, tell him your salary has not come. Simple. Use your head, Clara. Use your head. You are my daughter. Use your head. <laughs> Clara. How? I hope everything is all right. Everything is all right. God, I'm so hungry. Clara, is there food in the house? I don't know. It's not been long I came back. Did you give Mama money to make anything? Clara, come on. You know that I don't have. You always take care of that. Hmm? That means there's no food in the house because I didn't give her any money before I left the house. What am I going to eat now? I'm so hungry. I left the house on an empty stomach. 
What do you want me to do? To manufacture food? You didn't give Mama money for anything in the house. I came back from work and I'm very tired. Clara! Why are you sounding like this? How am I sounding? How am I sounding? Did you bring out any money that I'm not aware of? For God's sake, Clara, please! Do you know what? I am very tired. And I have lots of work to do in the office tomorrow. So please, let me have some rest. Take this 2000 naira uh, in case you need to buy anything. And okay, let me make it 3000 naira uh, since you said you want to cook. I'll see you when I get back. Are you off to work now? Yes, I am. I'll see you later in the day. Okay. I'm Clara. Um, um, please, can I get some money from you? At least 5000 naira. 5000 naira? Jesus Christ. Where will I get that kind of money from? I don't have any money. This money I'm begging you to give to me is really important to me. If not, I wouldn't have asked you. I am still clearing your acclaimed debt. Soon the landlord will be here. That one I will clear as well. Where do you expect me to get the money from now? Do you want me to steal? Okay, Clara. I will pay you back. I really need this money. Come on, Clara. Should I beg you this much? You just don't want to understand or have you forgotten to be reasonable? Mama! Mama!
Mama. 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 I can't believe this. This woman locked me out and went away. She knows that I come in and go out. And she deliberately locks the house without waiting for me or dropping the keys for me. Okay. I've been sitting down here waiting for you to come back. Mama, what is the matter? Is it not your so-called husband? I was cooking in the kitchen. He suddenly jumped into the kitchen and started shouting on me as if I'm his house girl. Shouting at you, what for? That, eh, uh, 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 I, I went to the market and locked him outside. There is nothing he did not tell me today. Uh -uh. There is no name he did not call me today. Ah, uh -uh. Why? Why, Clara, why? Is it because I came to help out? Why should he call me such names? Mommy, where is Festus? How will I know? Is he not the master of the
continue on my mother. Good evening, Clara. Welcome. What happened between you and my mother today? Calm down, Clara. We just got back from work. I demand to know what happened between you and my mother. Is it because she's not your own mother? Clara, I only talked to your mother concerning what happened earlier today. If you had left the house this morning, like every other man does, rather than lie down here and sleep all day, what happened today wouldn't have happened. Clara, you did raise a voice at me, and at the same time mock me? My mother is not a maid here. You should be grateful she took her time, went to the market, stood in that kitchen and made food in the house. Why are you so ungrateful, Festus? Clara, why are you talking like this? So I should be grateful that I am being treated like dirt in my own house? In your own house, you say? Mm. Anyway, the six months rent will soon be due. Let's know who will pay it. Let's know who will pay it. Moreover, show my mother some respect. I know she's not your mother. Please, show us some regard. Since you're here, please can I have some food? I'm hungry. Food from where? Food from where? After insulting my mother, you want to eat the food she cooked? Clara, you're getting this all wrong. I don't know what your mother told you, but have you forgotten that I am your husband? I am equally your wife, and that's my mother you were rude to. I wasn't rude to her. You see, Clara, hasn't it crossed your mind? Even if it's for a second, that there is a misunderstanding somewhere? If there is, Festus, it will be from you. Now, if you'll excuse me. I just told you I was hungry. You know where the refrigerator is, don't you? Or you expect me to jump into the kitchen to cook for you after what I passed through in the office today? Festus, take it calmly now. The food is not running away. I know, I know. I'm, I'm going please just find out if they can get me more food, please. Waiter, please get him more food. Thank you very much. You see, they can still get you take away if you stay near it. Thank you, Mika. Why not? Why not? Anyway, no problem, eh? So long as it will make you happy, they'll give you whatever thing you want. 
Clara is bad, but her mother is worse. Festus, so you mean to tell me that your wife, Clara, opened her mouth to say such a thing to you? Emeka, my brother, I have suffered. You have no idea what I go through in that house every day. I beg Clara, my wife, for food. I beg her for money. I even beg my wife for attention. Are you serious? Would I lie to you? Her mother now calls me lazy because of what happened to me, my mistress. Emeka, just Emeka, look at me. Look, just look at me. Look at your friend. Look, just look at me. Hold yourself, hold yourself, first. Hold yourself. You have to be a man. Look, Emeka, I came out this night to beg for food. If I had no friend like you, I would have gone to bed tonight on an empty stomach. Um, you see, Festus, I suspect Clara's mother. By the way, if I may ask, what is that woman doing in your house? My house. My house. Well, they say it's no longer my house, since Clara now pays the bills. Oh my God. I remember how you hustled from office to office in search for a job for her with her CV. Emeka, I leave everything to God. He knows best. All through her university days, I paid her school fees. I treated her mother like a queen each time she visited. But now that I am down, that my business has collapsed, I am now a disease. You see, put yourself together, my friend. Put yourself together. You see, you have to be a man this time. Tomorrow, sit Clara down and talk to her. Tell her that her mother has overstayed. And she should leave that house. Look, Omega, I don't want anything, anything at all that will bring about big trouble between me and them. I, I am avoiding them. I don't want that. Don't want their problem Already at all. Already that's a very big trouble. You are drowning. You are losing grip of the house as the man of the house. You see, you have to stand on your feet now and tell them enough is enough.
Clara, step out of this car. I want to talk to you. I'm, all, I'm running late for work now. Look, you're not going anywhere. In fact, this car is not moving an inch until I've talked with you. Now step out. Look, Festus, if this is another money problem, I don't have any money to give to you. To hell with you and your money. I said, step out of the car. Jesus. Come on. Ah. Step out of this car. Step out of the hey. car. What is it? What is the problem? Why did you two lock me outside last night? Do you know where I slept? Who told you that my daughter is interested in, in your late nights? Who told you that? Please. I don't have time for all this rubbish. I'm running late for work. They're already calling me, please. Come, 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 come. come. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. You want to go in? Hey. You went to bed last night and slept peacefully without bothering to where your husband is? Did I send you anywhere last night? Is that your attitude? Did you... I send you anywhere last night? Is that your attitude? Yes. You foolish woman. How dare you insult her? How dare you insult her? And you, old woman. You have overstayed your welcome in this house. Now go in, get your things and go back to your house. Hey! Which house? Over oh, my dead body. This house that I pay the rent, my mother should go where? My mother is not going anywhere. No, 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 Clara, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me listen to him and hear him well. That I, Dorati, should do what? Beware of the fire you're igniting, old woman. It will burn you. It will surely burn you. It is you that fire will roast. It is you that fire will burn yes. you. You, fire will yes. roast you. Look at you, lazy man. Your maids have mansions, fleet of cars. Look at you. All you do is come in here and be fed with my daughter's money. Come, come and drag my daughter's property with me. Come and say, come and drag, come and drag my daughter's property with me. Foolish drunk. I know of You're fear. calling me me. Uh, yes. You cost it. Mama, in fact, I am not going anywhere again. I am ready for whatever Festus has to offer this morning. I don't mind skipping work. I don't care. Okay. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Both of you will stay here. If I see your food or your mother's food inside this house. Which house? Don't blame me for the mayhem that will follow. Hey. Do not blame me. House. Which house? Hey, hey. Look, <laughs> this <laughs> Festus, open this gate! Festus, open this gate! Festus! Hey! Clara, wait! Leave him! Leave him! I have his match! Eh? Since he wants to see me, I will show him me! Eh? Give me, give me your foot! Give me your foot! He's there! Give me your foot! Eh? I have his match! Hmm? here be you. Yes! Take the next available car to your sister's house. Unless you want to carry your only mother's cause and that of your only sister before our time. Yes! James, hurry up! Come. Hurry up, James! Come. Hurry up and come on! They want to kill us! Go. Okay, we are waiting. Huh? Okay, hey! 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 Festus! Let's leave us! Payment. Mm, no. I came to cancel all payments. I will no longer clear the debts anymore. But we had an understanding and a written agreement, madam. I know. I am pulling out of the agreement. You will no longer receive any form of payment, be it cash or check. In that case, I have to arrest your husband immediately. Do whatever that pleases you. My daughter has set her mind. She has nothing to do with that man's death anymore. 
But madam, how do I get my money? You know I need my money. That is left to you. Left to me? Yes. In that case, I have no other option than to arrest your husband immediately. Well, I have said my piece. Have a nice day. Oh yes. Am I your brother's or your sister's keeper? What do you now mean? Get out of my house by calling the police. Open this door, Festus. Open this door. Festus, open this door. Open this door, Festus. Okay, alright. I'll show you. Attack me! Which is a lie! Eh? Is a lie. He... We are here based on a case of fraud, breach of contract, and default in payment. Based on that, you are coming to the station with us. Handcuff him! Yes. So. Yes. Handcuff him! Yes. 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 feeling like. I know the caliber of men I deal with in my office. Men that respect me. I know. Men that crave my attention. Every single day. Who is Mr. Festus? Eh? Does he know your water position in your company? Does he know? I was even pitying him. Oh. Advising him to go out and look for a job. I thought I was doing him a favor. I never knew he was calling me an idiot all this while. Such a stupid man. Mama, no single day passes by without money leaving my pocket for Festus. I give him money every single day. Mm -hmm. Every other person that he is owing, they turn to me to collect the money. The rent, I will pay. Can you imagine? Even the clothes he wears, I will be the one to buy the clothes. Don't say that again. Sometimes I just wonder who the husband and the wife is in this marriage. No wonder nothing comes from you to us anymore. Listen to me. Sister, you don't, need, you don't need such a man in your life at all. Listen to me. Eh? If you see a better man, go ahead and marry him. Oh, yes. Marry him. Did you hear me? Okay. After all, this marriage is a failure. It has not been able to produce any issue. Nothing at all. Did you hear what I said? Nothing. If you see a better, better man, go ahead and marry him. Nothing will come out of it. I am here. Ha! Huh? What a foolish man. Oh. Go and get us some food to eat. James, sit down. Let's eat. Yes. You see? You don't get me food. By the time he finishes with the police, uh -huh. I'll come back to the house. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Hey. Hmm? Some of you men are stupid. Very, very stupid. Such men like Pestus. Huh? Kai. Never seen a foolish man like him. 
Hmm. Nah, itu tak asal pak. Hmm. 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 professional football player playing in the German league. I do watch football matches, but um, I'm not quite familiar with your face. Oh, well, you soon will. You know, I'll be joining Chelsea on a 21 million pounds contract move next season. Then the whole nation will know about me. Very interesting. And that's a good career move. So, Back to business. What can I do for you? Um, do you want to open an account with us? Yes, but not at the moment. You know, I've seen you once at a wedding. A friend's wedding. You were the maid of honor. Really? And um, what wedding was that? Esther is a no business wedding. Oh! That's that's nice. Well, that was two years ago, a very long time ago. That's right. Actually, it was a great wedding. But God, all eyes were on you. And and what makes you think I was the center of attraction that day? There were other girls. I know, man. I am one. And believe me, I had all the. Uh, the side comments and the whispers at the corners. You know. But on my own side, I tried to attract your attention. But God, all my moves we are unsuccessful. So I went back to Europe with only your picture in my mind. But there's nothing there. All you would have done was just look for a way to talk to me or something. <laughs> you said that's so casual, but it's not that easy. Especially when it's got to do with, uh, with someone, someone you really have a high regard and respect for. God, back in Europe after day, my whole life, my reflections, my cogitations, everything was revolving around the circle of your image in my mind. Oh, really? But you do come home, I suppose. All you would have done was just to look for a way to reach, reach me or something. Yeah, I know. I was driving by earlier today, and I saw you park and walk in here. So I inquired, and I was told that you're walking. So here I am, this time, this moment. And I will never let you go until you bless me. <laughs> bless you? And bless me. what do you mean by bless you? I don't understand. I mean, you should bless me with your number. Oh. Vicky, actually, I would like to know you better. I would like to know you more better than just a beautiful face I saw at the wedding. But uh, there is nothing so fantastic about me. I'm like any other girl, you know, trying to survive. No, Vicky, you're wrong. You're a goddess. God, you're a goddess on earth. Oh, well, this is your uh, office hours. 
it's not really my perfect idea to occupy with frivolity, you know. Yeah. But I would like to take you out on a date, a lunch or a dinner, no matter how short, it's all fine with me. Okay. I have about two weeks to spend before leaving. Okay. Well, um, here's my card. Just try as much as possible to call me and um, we'll fix something. I feel great. I'm glad, Vicky. Congratulations. Pleasure meeting you, Collins. Congratulations, old time ago. Baby boy, man, call me a genius. God, I'm too good. So how did it go? Man, everything went on smoothly. She fell flat for me. Man, give me five, give me five, give me five. Man, I'm too good, I'm too good, I'm too good. I'm the man. And you know what? I got her number now, and we'll be going out on a date soon. You did you use the wedding strategy? I did. And she fell totally flat for me. Very soon, I have all her biodata to track her down. Please, let's get going before it, she comes out. Oh, we got you now. And hang on. <laughs> From now on. Collins is a professional footballer. Man, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, man. I'm the next to Olise. around about me. I'm sure someone would have showed you where to find me. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you know, the European League is intense. You know, sometimes it gets so intense that it, it eats up my time. So tell me, when are you getting into the Super Eagles? The Eagles? Yeah. I'm already in it. You are? Of course, yeah. For real? Yeah. I'm not kidding you, baby, for real. Like, yeah, you're kidding me. I'm not showing you. In fact, that's the reason why I'm back home. Okay, and uh, we, we just rented off uh, a training session a couple of days ago. In fact, you know Olise? Yeah. Olise is out, and I'm now the new central defender. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, just. Tell me you're kidding. I'm not yeah. kidding you for God's sake. Now I say it again, I'm not. So, you mean to tell me that I am sitting right here with a Super Eagles player? That's right. Oh Come my on. God! There is nothing in it. Just hard work. Yeah, hard work. Vicky, can we talk more about you? Now, listen up here. The gist is this, I'm really, totally falling in Yahoo with you. <laughs> Come on, I mean I'm falling in love with you. No, please, um, don't say that. Really? 
think you am not kidding you. You have no idea how emotionally torturing it is for someone to fall in love or dream about someone else. Someone you don't even know. Um, does your girlfriend over there in Europe, do they allow you to do all this often? Let me, let me put it this way. I play games. But the only game I know how to play is soccer. I don't play games with girls. Vicky, I want a serious commitment here. I want to settle down. Okay. Then um, I would help you look for a wife then. <laughs> but why are you laughing? It's very funny. I'm serious. But uh, while I leave you for who? But you hardly know me. You don't even know me. I know. Come on, Vicky, I know. Come on, give me your hand. Come on. For it's as though I have known you for years. Vicky, I place the day that I saw you. God, I place these eyes that behold you. And I bless our great future together. these shits in Europe. Hey, come on, is there a welter here? No. Sorry. God, I can't, I can't take this. It's okay. God, hello. This guy I've been telling you about. This guy is so charming. He is my prince charming. And he is a wonderful man. Do you know he took me out the other day and I felt as if I was floating in the clouds. <laughs> Vicky, you sound excited. But you just met this guy. Do you know him that well? Of course I do. And I do know that he loves me and that he wants to settle down with me. And he is a football star based in Europe, earning mega bucks. And I bet that's the reason you wholeheartedly accepted this guy. Barely a week ago, you were crying over Jide. Your press charming governor's son. Helen, I resent that. I'm only looking out for you. I mean, if this Collins were to be putting you, a struggling one flat businessman, would you have given him the light of the day? <laughs> Let alone your number. Oh my God, this girl doesn't get it at all. Helen. Where did you have lunch this afternoon? St. Bridget's restaurant, of course. Good. And I bet they serve nice and classical meals. Why didn't you go to the Booker Woman down the road to eat? Their food is cheap and affordable. And your point being? Helen, my point is, in life, as we live it only once, 
we should always go for the best. And I don't think that is a crime or a sin, is it? Vicky, always look deeper, not just the surface. I mean, my mother always say, um, what's that? It? Look for the man first, and then what he has. What a man has is what makes a man trust me, girl. Yes, but it is not what he has materially. It's what he has here. Helen, I mean, enough of all this you talk with me. All I know is Collins loves me, and I love him too. And we want to settle down. And we are serious, believe me. You should just get ready because the wedding bell is about to ring. I am so looking forward to that. <laughs> Yeah, um, Helen, yeah. Um, can I have that file, Mr. Deva, you brought into the office this morning? <laughs> when I get back to shit, Colin, come back here. Colin, I said, come back here. Is this daddy shop you're supposed to be, Colin? How are you? I, I said, is this daddy shop you're supposed to be calling? So calling is true. What's true? All you do is to pick prostitutes around, lavishing my father's money. I beg your pardon, I am not a prostitute. Call is what is Then you shut up. You go digger. All you do is to go around my father's brother, lavishing my father's money just for a night time. Yeah, for God's sake, now what's your problem? Is it because your dad is only younger brother? I'm calling. Daddy had sent me to you and he asked me to get the car keys. And what right have you to take the car keys from me, huh? Colin, I said Daddy sent me and he asked me to get the car keys. You should call me. Colin. No, relax. Colin, I thought you said you were you were a footballer based in Europe. Huh? I am. Uh, no, Daddy, I saw him. Uh, yes, Daddy, at exact place. It all depends. Huh? Listen, this is. Oh my God! I'm no, such no, no, no! A big fool. Colin, talk to Daddy. Daddy is online 
wants to talk to you. 